Insane. That is just insane. I guess I think if you compare this, you know, this overall thing with the pure original Shao build, like with the proper Animo Shao build, I think this is just insane. What is going on? Like minimum one lakh. Shao is just hitting minimum one lakh with the strat. Like with the. Okay, right, guys. In this video, we are going to talk about the Pyro Shao, guys. Pyro Shao is no joke. I'm going to talk about in detail that how you can create your Shao and how you can convert your Shao into a Pyro character, and your Shao will give like more than one lakh Pyro damage in one plunge attack. Yes, in a plunge attack, you can seriously convert your Shao into a Pyro plunging Shao. Shao is already insane and after coming Shani and Shao became more and more insane. So if you have your characters like Shani and Furina and Bannad, you can play your Shao as a Pyro vaporized Shao and your Shao will give amazing amount of damage. So let's get into it. Get into it. Let's start with the weapon. Simply, we are gonna give the Dragon's Bane weapon. Why we are giving the Dragon's Bane weapon? It increases the elemental mastery by 221%. And we are building now. We are building a Pyro Shao. So Pyro Shao needs more elemental mastery to give more vaporized damage, uh, uh, reaction damage. And this weapons also give extra Pyro damage, increased damage against opponent affected by Hydro Pyro. So we are gonna give the Pyro damage with Shao. So this weapons gonna get give us extra. 36% damage make sure to have this weapon on r5 and in artifact we are gonna give the crimson witch four piece crimson witch in which we are giving two piece spider damage bonus and in four piece just increasing the all elemental reaction damage related to the pyro element and the artifacts we are giving is, is the HP percentage 31% crit damage 4% energy 9% HP HP doesn't matter here and we're giving 24 crit damage here 6% crit crit here and little bit elemental mastery here we are giving the attack percentage, 40 elemental mastery, 14 crit damage, 6 crit rate. Here we are giving pyro damage bonus. We are not giving anything else. We are giving pyro damage bonus here with the 10% crit rate. Insane guys. This is gonna work like it's like you're gonna see this now. This, this is crazy. In the crit damage in the circlet, we are giving the crit damage with the 14% crit rate and uh, everything else is just garbage. We have no consolation or of course the talents are on max only the elemental skill is not max but that doesn't matter at all we are only gonna give the plunging attack damage so this is the shower guys we having 1500 attack attack is pretty much low but that's gonna compensate with the bennett's ultimate bennett's ultimate so uh, you know around around gives 1500 attack so that's gonna be compensated with the uh, bennett's ultimate Stats are not that great 61 and 182. It's the strat. You can increase the strat by depends on you, how good the artifacts you are having. We are not giving any critter or crit damage weapon. So without a critter crit damage weapon, I think the strat is very, very uh, good. Like they are very good. And the character we are using Shao with is Shanian, Furina and Bennett. Why we are using Shanian, Furina and Bennett? Shining because uh, Shining gonna give us ability to do the plunging da uh, plunging abilities. Shao can plunge in uh, his ultimate, but we are not gonna activate the ultimate of Shao. That's the thing here. For like, if we want to convert Shao into a pyro character, Bennett gonna play a very important role. Here we having a C6 Bennett. Yes, you're gonna need to uh, activate your sixth constellation of Bennett, which what what that ability do sword claymore and polearm sword claymore or polearm wielder characters inside the ultimate of bannet radius gains a 15 percent damage bonus and their weapons are infused with pyro yes their weapon gonna be inf infused with pyro so that's gonna that's why bannet's hair is gonna play the very important role so we're gonna infuse the weapon of 
Shao with the pyro element and of course he's also gonna gain the 15% extra pyro damage bonus that's gonna be very very insane Furina here to give extra damage bonuses and to trigger the vaporize element elemental reaction Shanin here to give more better plunging abilities to Shao and gonna give more crit rate to the plunging attack that Shao's gonna deal and yes my Furi, uh, like my Shanin is not maxed out, but that doesn't, not gonna be matter here that much because uh, uh, none of the ability, you know, just give extra damage or something extra damage bonus, just the passive ability that's giving the extra damage bonuses or the some benefits and they all are already unlocked. Okay, this is the Shao having 2200 attack here, 55 crit rate, 262 crit damage. This is gonna be the 65 crit rate because 10 crit rate we are getting with the uh, Shanian. So it's more, uh, it's like uh, equal to what we are getting with the Pyro uh, one, Pyro team. This having a more crit damage, this having a more uh, attack here. Still, this Shao is performing <laughs> less with if you compare with the Pyro and Still our Shao is super strong, but the Spyro Shao is insane guys. It's just Strike a pose. Time to show. Seize the scars. Everybody stand back. Oh, we're getting elemental mastery here also. Strike a pose! Time to shine! Make way for the attack! Everybody stand back! Morphless! Tear! Tear! Morphless. Morphless. 